All right, guys. So right now, guys, I drive in right now. Like I said, I'm gonna go down to my warehouse job, but. I was editing videos and I was uploading videos and it had these weird comments in my comment section. I was like, I don't know what it was. It was like some little kids. There was like, <laughs> there was like talking shit on my YouTube. I was like, bro, what the frick? So they was calling me one yapper and all this kind of different stuff. And then I, you know, I hit them with the rebuttal. Like, bro, you got to focus on your life. I don't know. I don't get why this is a random negative comment talking shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, if there's no need for negative comments, don't say nothing. But I hit him with the mature response, right? Because, you know what I'm saying? He probably like he probably like the same age as me. I'm only, well, like 20 years old. But, you know what I'm saying? But he out here, you know, yapping, playing Fortnite all day, you know, fucking watching videos online. He laughing, geeking around. But, you know what I'm saying? I got real life stuff to worry about. So I try to be mature. And I hit him with a response and rebuttal, right? And I was telling him, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? You got to focus on your life. If you out here, you no more money, you broke, you no more nothing going on for you. You have no goals, no real life job experiences, nothing to offer to the real world, no good communication skills. Because you say I yapping, but I yapping well on purpose because, you know what I'm saying? I get good communication skills. I went to a private school. I played box. I played football. I, I did boxing. I did all this kind of stuff, right? I was working at my landscaping job, worked at Taco Bell, worked at Enterprise, worked at my warehouse jobs. Worked at all this kind of different stuff. Only at age 20 now. Stop playing with me. You know what I'm talking about? So this little kid and all that. And also, I'm trying to run my businesses, online businesses, YouTube and all this stuff. And right now, I'm headed to my warehouse job right now because I got to go sign some papers, right? I got to start driving this forklift and I got to start training. I got to get certified and all this kind of stuff. So the whole point I was trying to make to him was, bro, if you're out of shape, you have no money, you're still out here with no goals, aspiration, you sit home, you play video games, no real life experiences, no work ethic, none of that. You never graduate high school. You're not even going to college. Why are you out there commenting on other people's YouTube videos? I get time for this, yeah? There's negativity. I got real life shit to worry about. And then after that, um, he was just like, he, I think this is like his friend or his boyfriend or like, I don't know who that was, but like maybe he got another spam account. Like he's so desperate for me to reply. Then after that, he just like texting me, but I don't know, fucking, that was a funny, weird interaction. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm go down to my warehouse job real quick. I just trying to film for you guys a little bit. It's fucking hot right now, bro, fuck. Warehouse job, bro. Yes, sir. I just signed some forms. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. Alright, I gotta go this way. Alright, guys, I got real life shit for worry about. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking shit on the internet. I got real life shit to worry about. Monkey. Name out monkey. Man, what's up, boys? But anyways, guys, right now, guys, I stay at this beach, but I want to film one video, right? Because like I was talking about earlier, I had this guy in my comment section. He was like going on and on. Like, I don't know. And then, like I said, he made one not account or he told his friend or something to come come and comment. And like, bro, that was like fucking two hours later, too. So anyways, I'm going to just show you guys that I got real life shit to do. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I got to show you guys that, you know, I don't have time for internet BS. You know what I'm saying? Like all these little kids. I'm making one video out of it because I know it's funny and shit like that. So, and I'm, I'm filming today. So let's go ahead and just film a video. But right now, guys, I'm at the park, right? And I'm going to show you guys some life skills that I have, right? So let me show you guys some life skills. First of all, guys, let me go show you guys this nice, beautiful park right now. I stay by my work job too over here. You know what I'm saying? I work in the industrial area, but we, get, we stay by the beach and all that. I got the AC running a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? There's an old, reliable car. But hold on, guys. Let me move my stuff a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? I get the, the beach and all that. You know what I'm saying? I live in paradise over here. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not, not time for crybaby shit. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you guys a little bit about my life skills, all right? That I have. So I got the car a little bit running but um i just came from a warehouse job i had to go sign some forms like i said i'm transferring right now to the forklift and the warehouse association team so i gotta i had to go in last minute to go sign some papers and forms i did my drug test yesterday but anyways guys i want to talk to you guys about something right so you know what i'm saying like oh let me sit on my camera right here guys but yeah guys i just um i wanted to tell you guys about my job experiences and resume and life skills and what i got going on because a lot of people they you know what i'm saying they stay in home playing video games they're talking crap online right so i don't know boys but anyways guys my first job that i worked at all right i used to work around here i used to work at my landscaping job right so i used to i started when i was 16 years old this is in 2019 right when i was a senior in high school i was 16 years old i was about to turn 17 but i started working at my landscaping job i was cutting grass i was leaf blowing i was learning all kinds of skills the forklift the sit down forklift the golf cart i was driving all this kind of different stuff i'm gonna show you guys some clips right there so you, you know what i'm saying in case you get a lot of people saying that you know it's bs and all that but Oh, 
I was working over there then I was also playing football in school I was playing tackle football on the varsity team I was in a private school I was doing good G uh, academically wise you know what I'm saying I wasn't doing good prior to that but I decided to take life more serious when I was a senior in high school so I was working making money I was uh, taking my grades serious I was playing sports I was also doing boxing at the time you know what I'm talking about so oh <coughs> anybody like 1v1 looking ass but I was doing all that kind of shit right at that time. I was doing that till all the way to 2020 when pandemic hit. That's when I graduated high school, right? So I was working at my landscaping job study. I graduated high school. I was making money. I was doing all this kind of stuff. Then I started working at Taco Bell with me and my cousins because that was the only jobs I was hiring during the pandemic. That was an essential job. job. So I was working there and I was only getting paid $11 an hour. In order to make a $1,000 paycheck, I had to work 100 hours every two weeks. So I'll come in at 6.30 a.m. and I'll stay to 10 p.m. Monday to Sat Monday to Friday, I'll do that. Saturday to Sunday, I'll wake up early in the morning. I'll go to my landscaping job, work, work, work. Then I'll come home in the afternoon. And then after that nighttime, I'll get ready again and go down to Taco Bell. So that's what I was doing at um, for two years straight to make money. And then also I was working on my YouTube, my businesses. And then I was doing all these kind of side hustles, selling stuff, etc. Boom, boom, boom. In 2021, right, I got my first car, which is this bad boy right here. It was an old, reliable car. Let me show you guys a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So all these little kids who's talking, yapping online and stuff like that. They probably don't like all these little kids online and all that. I know that they probably don't know how to drive and all this kind of stuff. So I'm trying to educate and motivate people to learn, you know, the basic necessities that you need in life, especially as a man and a young adult. You know what I'm saying? You kind of drive your, you kind of take your lady walking and shit like that and riding the bus. You guys got to go ahead and learn how to drive, right? So this is an old car and I'm going to show you guys, educate you guys a little bit, some basic life skills, especially for, the, you know, the little kids yapping online and stuff like that, still playing Fortnite. You know what I'm talking about? So this is the, the gas meter right there you know what I'm saying f is for few or uh, full and then after that you know what i'm saying this is the red dot it shows you like a, it's like a meter which shows how much gas you have i'm on almost half tank this is the speed monitor right here how come my camera a little bit blurry but this is the speed hold on let me zoom out a little bit i think it's getting picked up by the sun or some shit but yeah this is the speed monitor right here it shows you how much fast you can go this is the mileage right here if you guys don't know how to read this this is 125,800 for mileage for an older car this is a 2002 civic car right honda civic if you guys don't know different models of cars you guys gotta study you gotta study the symbols you guys gotta know because as a man you're supposed to know how to drive cars right especially for the lady this is basic stuff right there you know what i'm talking about so this is the mileage right here 125,000 mileage no cap 2002 car when i first got the car two years ago in 2000 2021 it was 110,000 mileage so yeah the car is not that bad you know what i'm talking about especially for older cars so yeah it's been it's been taking me to and from places you know what i'm talking about making why the fuck is it so blurry you know what i'm talking about and then of course this is your um your gear select right so you got park reverse neutral d d3 d2 and then this is also to warm up the car right so if if the car's on c it, when you turn off the car and you leave them off overnight right when you turn them on it's gonna be below c when it hits the c that means the car is warming up when it gets to the middle that means the car is fully warmed up if it touches the h that means the car is overheating so you guys better check them out right basic stuff and then over here of course you get all these other gear selects this is to control your mirrors uh right here if you guys can see let me let me show you guys a little bit this is left this goes right and what it means when you go left so if you go left it's talking about this left mirror outside all right so you switch it to left and if you like adjust your mirrors to see outside down below on the side when you're driving you gotta make sure that you press this button in, and then after that you got the gear select right there right so if you press this mirror if you press left and then you got you're only um controlling the left mirror and then you got to control right there like if you like turn the mirror more left you press here if you like put them more up you press here you know basic stuff this is cruise control this is to flip them to the right to film this i mean not film but uh to control this mirror right here basic shit right there you got your controls right there to roll down the windows it's the the front left front right back left back right and this is to um stop rolling up the windows kind of like child lock where you press the button and you kind of roll down the windows and then after that my car a little bit broken so you know what i'm saying I gotta go put duct tape on them, but you know what I'm saying? I still get 50k in a bank account, stop playing with me. And I'm not in debt paying off my car loan, so stop playing with me. This is the lock button right here. Um, over here, you got the button to pull up the trunk, no cap. This is your brake accelerator. This is your um, your controls to switch it off. So if you like switch on control, right? You gotta push down the brakes first, right? The brakes gonna light up in the back over there, and then after that, make sure that this is the what is this called, guys? Uh, this is the fuck. What is it called, guys? I went blank for a second, but this is to um. Oh, this is your emergency brake. If you know your emergency brakes off, right or on, it, it lights up right there, it illuminates red right there. So all you kids don't know that. So this is uh either for emergency brakes, you can either have the hand brake, the foot brake, which is usually over here in certain cars like newer models, and then you gotta press them down. When you press them down 
the emergency brake lights doesn't illuminate anymore then after that you can go ahead and gear select make sure your foot is always on a brake whenever you're trying to change gear selects in case because the car is always going to roll whenever it's on so if your feet's off the brake and you put them in d the car gonna start moving oh shit especially when you're off field all right so this is right there i had to replace a it had an old radio speaker right there so i put bluetooth inside right here my cousin helped me out this is um to change the warmth and all that so like it say for instance it's snowing and you need to defrost your wind windshield right here you got to go ahead blast the ac turn them on the ac then you got to go ahead and switch this to defrost over here you can also defrost the back over there on the back shield but there's another button it's this button right here but yeah that's the basic gear selects over here all you kids don't know that kind of shit and if you want to pop the trunk to fix and do whatever that you got to do with your car i just showed you guys right here and then also showing you guys right here you push the button to open a gas cap which is located on the back of my left car and then also the trunk you pull up the switch right here adjust your seat you got these buttons under here not the buttons but you pull it forward back etc and then pretty much yeah guys you got your, your wheel and all this kind of stuff you got your blinkers right here so you can turn on the blinkers you got your windshield wipers right here in case you got a wipe you know you can pull them right here to shoot some water but i don't have enough water right now i gotta go ahead pop the trunk open and fill up with water but basic kind of stuff right because all you little kids you guys don't know jack shit. let me go turn off my car real quick you know what i'm saying i'm just trying to keep the car from you know what i'm saying you kind of idle the car too long or else you're gonna kill the battery i know you a lot of kids don't know much about cars but also speaking about my second job right at taco bell right i just wanted to I was working over there two years. I was doing uh, cashier, customer service, running the drive through I could have been manager, but I denied the service because I was working at this other job and the pay was only like 12 an hour. But like I said, guys, I had to do double shifts to make $1,000 every two weeks, right? So I was hustling. I was grinding. I know what it's like to work. I have ethic. I have discipline. A lot of you kids don't you know what I'm talking about. So no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, guys, um, I was working over there. I was um, working the food. I was doing the dish room. I was doing the fryer. I was doing all this kind of different stuff, right? Delivery. I was taking order outside. Show some clips right there. Hey, well, back the fuck up. <laughs> I'm not gonna document this because fuck it, fuck it. It's for you, bro. Lay your hand. Yeah, you bro. Should I turn around? Where did this go? Turn around. Yeah. Yeah, you. Adrian. Handsome. So that's what I was doing. My third job, right? In 2022, I was working at my old high school. I was driving the box truck to deliver stuff to and from. I was driving the golf cart. Show some videos right here. This is my yellow golf cart right here. I was working in the cafeterias, I was working in the dish room, I was working assistant cook, assistant pantry, I was a utility worker, so I was all around kind of stuff. So that was my other job, my third job. I was working there for one year straight, Monday to Friday, early in the mornings. Then after that, at nighttime, I worked at Taco Bell, Tuesday, Thursday nights. Then I also applied with my cousins to this other job by the airport down there, guys, in Hawaii. The airport's this way. Oh no, where's the airport? No, the airport's this way. The, oh, no, no, the airport's this way. Wait, let me turn the camera. I know where the airport's this way because look, the plane's coming in over there. No crap, bro, what is this, GTA? But yeah, guys, um, that was my other job, Enterprise, right? It was a car rental company at the airport. Pretty much, I had to drive cars. I had to shuttle dirty cars. I had to clean the cars. I was driving around the garage. So I drive a lot of different cars, right? I drive like freaking Honda Civics, Toyotas, Mercedes, BMW, uh, Nissans, um, was that Ford Mustangs, SUVs, all this kind of different stuff, um, Jeep Wranglers, all these kind of different cars that you could think of, Kia, um, no, never had the other car so like, whatever the hell what the fuck is that car called but that's what i learned i learned all different stuff basic car maintenance all this kind of driving stuff different cars the logo symbols etc and then also i'll give you guys a little bit tip right because i travel a lot right with me and my girl so we travel i know how to um go ahead and fly on my own at the airport i know how to check in at the hotel and i give you guys a little tip right because all you guys don't know that so when you go for a car rental on the top left on your car windshield it's gonna show show like the car size in the in car rentals they 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 
they separate the cars by car categories. So the car categories could be based on size, right? So if you got a, a C car, that's a compact car, right? So it's a compact car is like on Honda Fit, some smaller kind car, usually, you know, very compact. Then you got the mid-sized cars or the, no, compact. Yeah, then you got the mid-sized cars like on regular Toyota, Corolla, Toyota Camry. I don't know which one's bigger. I think the Corolla is bigger, but the Toyota Camry is like the mid-size. Then you got full-size cars, you know, like regular-size cars. Then you got the convertible cars. Then you got the SUVs. Then you got the 4x4 four four cars. You get all kind of different cars, right? <clears throat> but when you guys rent cars, right? Say, for instance, if you got to travel, if you guys don't have a credit card and you're not traveling, right? Say, for instance, they most of the car rentals, they require a credit card if you're under age 21 or 25, actually. If you're under age 25, you can't use debit card. I know everybody, they get debit card. It's easy to get, but you need a credit card in order to go ahead and rent a car for 25 years old. There's tricks where you could use a, a debit card when you're 21 or younger or even 18. Some car co oh, some car companies, they allow you to rent cars at 18 years old, 19, 20, 21, but there's a lot of restrictions, right? You need a credit card. You kind of use debit card. You need a plane ticket to show proof that you, you travel so that they allow you to use debit card. So I went through all that kind of stuff because I used to rent all these cars. My first rent rental car was a convertible Mustang. Show the video right here. But I was able to use a debit card because I'm pulled off my tricks. I was only 19 years old when I did that. Then also my next rental car was this other car right here. It was a deep, no deep, what's that? It's a Dodge Challenger right here. Show the Challenger right there. And then after that, guys, then my other car was, um, it was a, what was it? A Nissan, Nis no, it was a Nissan Maxima. Yep, I went to Maui right here. Show them right here. And then my other car, I just came back from the Big Island, Hawaii, right? In October, my other car was... It was also a Nissan. Yeah, it was a Nissan. Damn, bro. I, I've been getting a lot of Nissans. Why is that car flying over there? But I, I've been getting a lot of Nissans. You know what I'm talking about? Nissan, 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 Nissan. So that's the car rental industry right there. And then my next job, I was working at this restaurant in its dish room. You know, basic stuff, right? You know, this kind of stuff. Then I was at the warehouse. I was working as a packer, pack auto stuff. Then I was also working at order fulfillment. So I was picking, scanning stuff, packing up the order, shipping them out, USPS shit, whatever. But then now they're making me transfer to the warehouse associate. So that's what I'm finna do. So everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? The whole point of this video is there's a lot of people out there talking negative online, talking all this kind of stuff, but never say that to my face. But they're not disciplined. They're not in shape and they don't have experiences life skills a resume they don't have no money to their name but yet they're out here trying to take other people down and then try to yap 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 and they're trying to like talk all this mad smack and then they know that i'm talking the truth and they're out here you know what i'm saying getting all pissed off and like they couldn't even rebuttal properly so like it's kind of sad like the whole mindset and all that so i have no idea what the hell why is that car driving so damn fast chill bro but yeah, the whole point of the video is I'm trying to show you guys that, you know what I'm saying? You guys got to be well-disciplined, take care of your life first. So, you know what I'm saying? Before you you out there trying to bring other people down and talk smack. And then like when I got a mature rebuttal, they're like, they're talking like just like superficial stuff. Like, oh, you're, you suck. You're stupid. You're ugly. Like, fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, hold that mature, yeah? But guys, also some, uh, that's my basic life skills. But I did traveling. I went to Vegas, LA. Arizona, Seattle. I just came back from Seattle in August. I do, I do sports wise. I already told you my academic. I only got a high school diploma, but I went to a private school. GPA was 3.5 or higher. Played sports. I played football. I played a little bit of basketball when I was growing up. I did a lot of boxing. I love boxing. I love fighting. You know what I'm talking about? I did a little bit wrestling. I did a little bit, you know, I was all around. I did running, swimming. I did biathlons at the beach when I was 15 years old. Like, bro, stop playing with me. And then some other skills. Um, I did a lot of music. You know, I know how to play violin, instruments, trumpets. Um, what is that called? The drums, guitar. No, not guitar. Ukulele in Hawaii. You know what I'm talking about? I know how to swim. I don't really know how to surf. I'm not a surfer. I'm not a body bo bo boogie boarder, whatever the hell. So that's some of my life skills right there. Some academic stuff. What else? I know how to play keyboard, piano. What else? What else? What else? I saved up 50K by working all those jobs. So I'm using that money to go ahead and invest into my online businesses, which will make me millions of dollars in the future. And I'm focusing on YouTube. So that's some other side stuff that I'm doing that I'm trying to, you know, I mean, you know, trying to, you know, get that one foot off the ground kind of thing. A lot of experiences, uh, know how to drive different cars. What else? What else? I drove box trucks before. I'm going to start learning how to drive a stand up forklift soon next week. Um, what else? Oh, I did DoorDash, Mercari, side hustles. I was DoorDashing with this car for some side cash income. Um, I do a lot of editing, YouTube videos. That's what I love to do. Let's see what else. Think. Let's think. Let's think. There's some other stuff I wanted to tell you guys about. 
That's my little bit resume in my portfolio, so you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, um, I eat healthy. I do acupuncture. I go to church all the time. You know what I'm saying? All about God. So make sure you're well rounded. Make sure you take care of your shit. Yeah, so make sure you're well rounded. Make sure you take care of your shit before you guys go ahead and start. You know, especially when people like the online warriors and the online keyboard warriors, and then like they say like some stupid shit, and it's always negative. And then when I tell them like, bro, just you know, I'm trying to motivate them. I'm trying to tell these these little boys. And these little kids and these, you know, all this kind of stuff, especially as a guy, like, come on, guys, you're supposed to be mature, you're supposed to be out there grinding, you're supposed to be out here helping and helping your fellow brethren out here, you know what I'm saying? Be positive, out here working hard, disciplining yourself. If you're trying to do a YouTube channel, start grinding, stop leaving negative comments to other people, start motivating people, start encouraging people, like, come on, let's get on it. So, that's my challenge for any negative talk negative talkers out there on youtube leaving comments and all that i challenge you guys to go out there be positive be well-rounded get in shape start working out start playing sport yeah guys um I, I challenge all these keyboard warriors to go out there get out there stop playing video games stop living in your bubble start being you know let, let's start with um characteristic wise first. start being more positive start being more disciplined start being more charismatic charismatic start being where you know you go out there you encourage people start motivating people you know learn communication skills you know what i'm talking about because a lot of people they think they get it confused with yapping and communication i have good communication skills i was in speech class i was in all this kind of different you know where you're you learn to able to communicate your thoughts and your expressions and you, you convey your message to how you communicate right so that a lot of people they don't have that they lack those social skills they're very awkward they don't even know how to talk to girls like come on now you know what i'm saying the whole point of life you gotta start on family and you gotta continue that generation that passed down you know what i'm talking about and if you don't know how to talk to one girl and you guy, come on now, stop playing with me. Stop being like that. You know what I'm saying? Grow out of your shell. So characteristic wise, do that. Uh, money wise, if you're starting from zero dollars and you want to start a business, my best advice is to start working nine to five jobs. Don't go to college. If you got if your if your job and your career requires college, of course go to school. But for me, if you're trying to be rich and wealthy and trying to start your own business, I feel like college isn't necessary. You go Play it smart, play your cards right, start an online business because that's the free and most accessible way to start something, especially a business nowadays and to network with people and other businesses. You start online because you have a phone, Wi-Fi, computer, social medias, websites, all this kind of different stuff to get your work out there. Do all that first. In the meantime, you got to go ahead. And if you're not going to college, you guys got to educate yourself somehow, whether if it's educating yourself online through courses, resources, YouTube, but hands-on experience as well. If you guys want to go ahead and start working regular jobs, not only are you educating yourself, but you're also making money money and you're educating yourself and networking with other people and you're making friends you're being more sociable you're making all this kind of different stuff so that's also one of my best advices that's what i took from myself i just was working regular jobs grinding stacking up money saving and also not only that was i stacking up money but i was meeting new people and i was also building my skill set so when i get rich i can be like yeah bro you know what i'm saying i'm not an average rich person i know how to drive forklift i know how to drive box truck i know how to do this i was working with the cooks i was working over here at fast food i was, I was a landscaper i was painting roads and curbs over there you know back when i was 17 years old so you guys got to get out there be motivated and discipline yourself to work regular jobs and just stack up that's if you're starting from zero dollars and you're really trying to make it out in the meantime use that money and start posting youtube videos if you're trying to you know be a youtuber i'll say like if you're working on a regular job just record yourself working on your job do youtube shorts tiktoks edit it record long format videos make funny gaming videos when you come home if you have the setup and all this kind of stuff you know what i'm saying fortnite is popping all this kind of different games record it record it record it post 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 if you're trying to do drop shipping and go ahead and learn how to drop ship if you're trying to do this um some other ways uh, affiliate marketing all this kind of different business ventures go ahead and do it copywriting etc do it all right so go ahead that's your plan work hard grind it's 2024 and i'm trying to motivate and challenge all these keyboard warriors out there who is talking down to negative people to go ahead and look yourself in the mirror first and start with yourself right rather than looking and judging other people so that's my little bit motivation for today uh get close to god and good grow your good relationships make money build your job resume build your characteristics it's like gta right you gotta level up your character in real life so you know playing fortnite playing video games talking down to other people yapping on the the internet and all this kind of stuff especially behind the keyboard not gonna get you anywhere learn martial arts learn skills learn how to sing learn how to play instruments do all whatever you gotta do be well-rounded be a good person so anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and start my car up right i'm gonna head back home because it's getting hot and i think it's getting trafficy right now i'm just chilling at the beach having a nice beautiful day you know what i'm talking about look at this shit beautiful beautiful a lot of things to live for a lot of positive things to smile about yes sir 
You know what I'm talking about? No cap. Go ahead and warm up my car. Get the AC on a little bit. It's kind of hot. You know what I'm saying? Let me just conclude this video. But yeah, boys. You know what I'm saying? Just go out there and get your money. Yes, sir. Chew. Also, guys, some of my fun hobbies. Let me turn you. Let me before I conclude the video. My fun hobbies that I love to do back in the day when uh, I used to work Taco Bell and landscaping at the time. But I used to have my cousins and my friends. We used to work together at Taco Bell, and then we used to always take off Wednesdays. We we in twenty twenty one, it got to the point where we decided to take off Wednesdays, and I was working weekends only. But um, yeah, we used to always go hiking. We used to wake up early in the morning. Call you get plenty of hikes, right? So we go hiking. We go down to. You know these long ass hikes ridge hikes waterfall hikes and then after that we go down to the beach i love going to the beach i used to swim a lot i used to do all this kind of stuff that was some of my hobbies hiking and beach and swimming fun days man hobbies right now i feel like i don't really have hobbies hobbies i feel like it's part of youtube i love making videos i love making content and i love recording and i love editing and i love putting stuff together i love being creative and putting stuff together like uh you know just any art and I love digital art, like making videos and all this kind of stuff, creative media. I love that type of stuff. I feel like that's my hobby. I don't really do anything besides trying to make money and try to level up. I work out. I do all this stuff, but I hate working out. I fucking hate it. Um, I, you know, I eat healthy, but you know what I'm saying? Food is all right nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Before, I used to eat like junk food, but I cut that shit off for two years. Two years ago, I stopped already. I didn't eat McDonald's for two years. Didn't drink soda for two years. Didn't do any of that because health is important. I started going acupuncture. I started going to church more often. You know what I'm saying? Be more, be more close to God So Yeah I just You know what I'm saying Don't really have any hobbies I just Whatever I do in my spare time Is always beneficial to Leveling up in my life You know what I'm saying Whether it's health Finances Relationships Etc So No hobbies anymore I like to go back hiking though And maybe I'll film and record videos Out of hiking you Let me know in the comments below Anyways guys I'm gonna go Peace out guys Yes sir uh, Look in the mirror now You know what I'm talking Look in the mirror For your comment man Look in the mirror <laughs> Come on boys, we're going back home, you know what I'm saying? Play Drake hold on, we're going home looking ass. But yeah guys, when I get back home, I gotta go ahead and uh, edit this video, post it, etc. I got a lot of video. I filmed plenty ass videos, boys. And also guys, I want to tell you guys my ethnicities, right? You guys may be like, what are you? Are you fucking like what do you look like? You know what I'm saying? I'm a I'm a um what you call that? I'm a mixed individual, right? I live in Hawaii, so we have a lot of ethnicities, cultures, etc. So my main culture, I mean, my main ethnicity is Hawaiian. I'm on Hawaiian, yes, sir. Um, I'm also, um, I'm a lot of Polynesian, so I have like Tongan, uh, Tahitian. I think I have Maori, Ma Maori. How to, fuck, I, I don't know how to do that tongue roll. I'm also Filipino. I got a lot of Asian. I'm Filipino, Chinese, Japanese. I'm also African American. African American. I'm African. I have um, German also, so I got black and white blood too, right? So I got the Polynesian blood got the asian blood and then i also got the black and white blood no crap and then also i have some other things too but i'm uh i feel like it's an interesting spectrum especially in hawaii where a lot of people is mixed ethnicities and cultures you know what i'm talking about so yes sabara Yeah, you bro. Should I turn around? Where did this go? Turn around. Yeah. Yeah, you. Adrian. Oh, you don't even make them argue. Oh, this, this is for the weekend. We come out smiling. <laughs>
that's what I gotta do. Oh boy, he's talking business, talking business. Raj. Hi to the TikTok. Oh, oh, come on now. Cans boys, we go pure. What's up, bro? Summer bottles, look at this show, boys. Oh, bro, oh, this is so little bit. Eh? Yes, some of my brothers. Yes, some of my brothers. We're gonna listen to Brian's song. Come on. When we was about to hit stairway, but then we we encountered this this um this steep hill, and then when this when this nigga went so <laughs> long, he was going up, and then he came back down, and then he had his two arms like that as he was humping the air before his you know, his last words. Boys, don't be shy, boys. Just sing along with me. Yes, sir, boys. Look at that cheese and that sauce, boys, and that burger. Yes, sir. Oh, Well, goodbye. Goodbye, Evan. We're safe. We're cool. 
You're safe, guys. See you.